Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's See What Happens. I am the World's Address. We are playing Starbound Beekeeper Edition. Now, I did just a tiny bit of reading. And basically... Oh, no, get out of there. Basically what we're supposed to do is take the forest honeycomb. Thank you. Put it into this centrifuge. And that should give me golden wood. Hey, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Cool. All right. So I've been thinking. Um, standing around here, you, you end up getting a bunch of... You know, look, I've got a couple more forest queens and drones and everything just from standing around and, like, I guess capturing whatever escapes... So, what I'm thinking, and also, I mean, look at this. This is not going to be enough silk production. Not even close. So, I'm thinking that I need to build a structure. Now, what I'm planning on doing is building a wooden structure that uh, the frame is made of background timbers, and then... The floors will just be made of the platform, so you can jump up and down through. You don't have to worry about, uh, like, you can just boop, boop. You don't have to worry about steps. It'll make it a lot easier. And then that way I can organize my apiaries by type. And I can get a couple of uh, centrifuges going. Cool. There we go. And I'll... That's probably going to be the best way to do it. Giant apiary takes, what, seven of those and a bunch of beeswax. So yeah, I need to have well more, like way more than one wooden centrifuge. And I think I can use any kind of centrifuge. Um, that's That seems to be the consensus on the wiki. That you can use any kind of centrifuge. And you'll be alright. So, gonna do that. And for anybody that is curious... I'm looking up right now what what beekeepers are actually called, like their scientific name. Apiarists. That makes sense. Or less commonly, uh, apiculturists. Apiculturists. Yeah. Apiarists. So that's what... Ah, oh man, look at that. Yeah, like forest drone, honeybee drone. I do not have enough going on. So we're going to scrap this whole area... very quickly get the seeds back let's we'll see what kind of wood we've got and we're gonna get moving on this because I need to build just I'm gonna build a huge apiary that's a hand mill I think this is a big center now that's the sifter huh I guess I didn't make a big centrifuge. Or if I did, I put it in something. Alright. Very quickly, though. Let's... Um, put the pure honey that we did make into this. Okay. Yeah. Now. Wood-wise... We should be okay. I'm gonna make all that I've got. That's 1,600 timber. That's going to seem like a bad idea, but it's really not. Not really. Uh, let's see. How do I until? Is that a thing? Ah, yes. So what I'm going to do, because everything's going to be made of platforms. Oh, hell. You know what? Because everything is going to be made of platforms. Uh, 
I'm digging out a, uh, uh, a foundation. Everything's going to be made of platforms so I can intersperse with flowers and bracken trees and stuff as I go. Okay. Now, let's move timber to here. So we get a nice wooden platform. Right? Yeah, so basically this is my plan. I'm building... I'm just going to build um, a structure that kind of follows this all the way up. And then flowers, apiaries, flowers, apiaries. You know, and, and by flowers I, I mean like anything from like bracken trees to, to regular straight up flowers. We'll go up one more. Perfect. Now, I'm going to need a lot of these. 200 wooden platforms ought to be a good start. Basically, just bring this over. And then... Oh, no! Bummed that all up. <laughs> uh, that's okay. So if I do it this way, right, I should be able to make a fairly nice sort of freestanding greenhouse, really, but not really. Like, it's not actually a greenhouse. Oop, oop, oop. It's just going to be sort of greenhouse-esque. Okay, that's a good start. We'll get started with that. We'll place down some dirt. We'll place the dirt between the two pillars. Like so. Oh, wait, no. Ah, uh, shoot. I already messed that up. We're only doing dirt every other. Because the rest of them are going to be apiaries. So we'll do flowers ooh, at the bottom there. Or bracken trees. Or, you know, really whatever. Whatever I decide on. And then apiaries are going to go in that middle one. So let's go ahead... You'll go here. Apiaries are in objects, and I have eight of them, and that is probably not enough. I am going to put a space between them. Yeah, that's definitely not enough. Yeah. Make a couple more of these. And just jam that button a couple of times, too. Okay, and then we'll come here and do actually 
actually, here, give me that back. What we'll do up this top is this direction. And this will probably change. Like, there's there's a good, good chance that I'll figure out a different way that I want to do everything. Because right now, I'm not sure. I might do something in the middle. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be weird. I won't be able to get up through this, so... That'll have to happen. Okay. Problem solved. Because I can boop right on down and then boop right on up. Okay. So we'll do flowers on one end, bracken trees on the other end. Three. We'll figure out which buttons that we need to be pushing. Um, what seems to be the problem here? Oh, I've uh, I've allocated it to the wrong button. So down at the bottom is going to be the bracken plants, the bracken trees, because I need those. And then I'll do some fun flowers up here. I feel like I'm doing Morse code. Okay. So far, off to a good start. I'm happy with what's going on so far. We're also going to throw in, I don't know, a few other thises and thats. And throw in some sugar cane and some, I don't know. Dirt urchin. Like, we're just going to grow a whole bunch of weird stuff up here. For no other reason than I, I can. Ooh, not a pus plum. That sounds gross. Um, <laughs> just it's disgusting. And some miracle grass. Boom! There we go. That should grow everything. And now come down here. There. That ought to grow all the silk I need. Hopefully that's not going to do anything. Alright, now. And tons of drones. Oh, you can just go right along. Oh, that's nice. Ah! If you do things right, you can. There we go. Alright, we figured this out.
Oh no, have I been putting? Yup. Well, that's dumb. I've been putting copper frames in. Like a dummy. I wish you could just, like, bip, and then there you go. We'll do this many. All right. Really and truly, I'm just kind of getting it ready for this, to m turn it into this huge, full production, like, ridiculously useful place. So we're going to move all of these guys and there we go. All right. So that's a good start. I'm also going to take two out of the middle of both because I'm going to need somewhere to put my centrifuges. Now let's figure out what we need for centrifuges. Right now I have um, what's actually important to the game for me right now is the forest guys I think I got centrifuges out of here yeah so sent hmm I remember a centrifuge was it out of here yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay the iron centrifuge it requires power, but that should that's not going to be a problem. I mean, I can move some stuff around up here and get power. That's here, in fact. Push the wrong button. Yeah, so we'll just take a solar array. Pop it. Boom, just like that. Xeno Research Lab's a little bit smaller. Place it here. You're a bigger guy. You can go there. Now, the iron centrifuge. I'll need two of them. Which means I need iron, iron bars, right? And, um, shoot, what was the other thing? Oh, no, it wasn't here. It was the this one. Right, now, iron centrifuge, iron bar, timber, and copper wire. Which I should have some of. By some, I apparently mean a whole mess. So, let's bop in two iron centrifuges for now. We'll bring them over here. Already these things should be bumping. Yup. Fantastic. Now, I'm going to take... Oh, that's perfect. And then T... How does this work again? Okay. Test to make sure that this works by sort of, please, thank you. Um, Yep, 
Awesome. Now, test to make sure this one works. Perfect. Awesome. Very, very, very cool. All right. And we're going to go make two more centrifuges. We're going to put those on the top one. Right, and then that's probably all we're going to do for bees for right now. Um, oh, you know what? I guess we have to go from down here. So, red up to blue. There. That should, uh, everything should work now. So let's see what we, oh man, we're already, ah, fudge. Oh, right, I didn't, um, give myself back all of my stuff. Okay, so that's all the building I'm going to do for right now. Here's the tricorder. There you are. You go there. And the book goes here, actually. And this goes there. Yeah, look at that. The more you hang around, the more you're going to get... I got three new forest queens to, to place in here. So, I mean, things are going well. Boom, there's all the beeswax we need. Boom, there's all of that that we need. So not only is this going to grow my silk, it's also going to be my beekeeping area. I'll probably not close it in. I like having it open air like that. Uh, giant apiary, assemble. Now it's time to build an industrial centrifuge. Uh, really? Really? That's probably in here, isn't it? Uh, in here, right? I don't have the industrial centrifuge yet. Probably need to upgrade my electronic center for that. That would make sense. Either that or upgrade uh, my auto assembler to the next... The next uh, st stage. Yeah, biochem lab, uh, Xeno research. Yeah, so more than likely, I've got to upgrade some stuff before I can make the industrial centrifuge. And that's perfectly fine. Things are going well. There's a good chance that I'll build up more, one more thing, and do some big apiaries up top. A uh, thing that I could also do would be just go doot doot, kill that. Hit up objects, put down a large apiary. And make sure that this gets up and running. Forest Queen. There we go, look at that. We are producing, producing lots of honey, lots of honeycomb. Come here. Perfect. All right. We have nailed down beekeeping. We are an apiarist. So go us. We've got a bunch of hives going. Uh, let's... Hmm. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and set up some of these hives as well. We'll get some just straight up honeycomb out of that. Because the various bees gives you give you various different types of honeycomb that will, uh, yeah, there we go. So we got a couple of things going. I want to make sure that these guys work. Yep. And that you work. Also, yep. Fantastic. Deep Earth Honeycomb. A delicious coal-filled coal -filled honeycomb. That's gross. That's super gross. Who would want that? Yeah, and this is just probably going to give me copper. Whereas this is just going to give me coal. Okay. And that's fine. So... Oh, with the minor bees, depending on what you give them for the frame, that's what kind of honeycomb they give you. And then that means that's the kind of uh, ore you're going to get out of it. That's actually super duper useful. Let's see if we can do something about all of these mites very, very quickly. And then we're going to go off and do something else. Anti-mite frame. Don't have any flower heads. Well, all right. There's got to be something you can do with the mites as well. Like, outside of just going and snagging them up. Like, there's got to be something that they do. Cool. Cool. Very, very cool. I'm super happy with this. And we could keep going up, really, in, in infinitely. You could just continue to go up and do um, grow whatever else you want. And then next up, you could go and do more apiaries. And then you can do a couple of levels of, of farm stuff. I don't know. We'll figure all of that out. But right now... Uh, right now, let's see what other quests we've got. What else do we have to do here? Like, Industrial Edge. Craft an arm cannon at the armory. Well, that's this. Let's see what it takes to make an arm cannon. Oh, it's right there. Tungsten. Advanced processor. Electromagnet. There's an electromagnet, silicon board, and gold bar. Can do. Not a problem. Could stand to make more silicon boards. What am I missing? Telibrium and tungsten. arm cannon. Oh. Oh. Well, let's check out this arm cannon then, because I love Mega Man, and if this arm cannon is going to turn me into Mega Man... Where'd it go? Oh, did he take it? Uh, maybe the guy took it. Okay, that's fine, though. It is what it is. All right. So, that's done. Still working on that. Um, I still need to figure out what, uh, how to do the sewing wheel, and, I, and I'll work on that. Mutavisk headwear. Use a clothing fabricator, which I haven't got yet. I'm working on it. Parts and labor. I'm working on that, too. Now... 
yeah, this probably needs to upgrade Circesium and, and Stick of Ram. I, I think I've got everything that I can do. I can do that, but... Cool. What was it? It's this uh, booster crop top. Is that a thing that I can make yet? Nope. Okay. Oh, let's very quickly upgrade this so that it'll deal a bit more damage. Yes. Forgot that I hadn't actually done anything with this guy. Oh, yeah, I have. There. Now it's a little bit more impressive. Does it tell me where I've... Oh, yeah. Uh, special reinforcement plus six. All right. Cool. So, instead of continuing on with some of the Fracken universe... Uh, things, we are going to do a storyline quest. Mostly because I've got... I'm, I'm orbiting a planet it, that is right around... That, that's going to have what I need. Oh, dang it. I keep forgetting I don't have to do this. Because I, I bought a teleporter specifically for this reason to not have to use my ship as a way station. Bop, bop. Wee. That's a lot of fun to do. Okay. So, oh man, she's got a quest. <clears throat> Now that you're familiar with scanning, we need to start scanning these artifacts. Yes, the Florian one first. Their colonies uh, will contain vital clues to its whereabouts. Florian live all over nowadays, but still prefer the dense forest vegetation of planets found around gentle stars. So literally, we bop back up to the planet. We're already orbiting a uh, a forest planet, so... I think it's, like, directly to the left of us. And there we are. And, you know, maybe we'll catch more... Oh, no, it's not uh, the Florians that are right here. But there is a Florian outpost around here somewhere. We're also going to keep an eye out for more bees. Because I've got bee fever. Mm. Now, apparently. I'm all about beekeeping. Well, I think it's neat the way they've done bees in this game. Where, like, depending on the frame, your bees could do whatever you want with them, really. You want honeybees? Boom, you got honeybees. You want bees that make some golden wood? There you go. Get you some forest bees. You want to make, you know, some various, uh, uh, you know, ore and stuff like that without actually having to go and get it? Get some miner bees. Build yourself the right kind of frame and you don't have to worry about going and getting it anymore. It's just going to be right there. You just shove that stuff in the, ow, in the centrifuge and you're good to go. So it seems to me that there are three types of bees. There might be other types of bees. So I don't want to be like, yeah, there's there's only the three. But right now, there are the minor bees, the forest bees, and the honey bees. There might be other kinds of bees, guys. I, I don't know. 
but it seems like like those three types of bees are pretty much handling everything you need. What is what is happening? That dude like overshot me by a half a mile. I swear I remember seeing a Florin settlement here. Whoa. Cool. Just run away from the bad guys. If it wasn't here, it was that other forest planet in that other solar system that I was just at. And at this point, I'm down with leaving because I have I have all the bees that I need, and with those uh, those apiaries producing, I will continually get more bees. Nope. Also, nope. Bye. <laughs> That's so much fun. It's also such a jerk thing to do. And she's like, nope, nope. And just glide away. <laughs> Don't have time for you today. Well, the more I see this planet, the more I think it was the last one. I'm really digging this, uh... Yeah, it was the last planet. Crap. Beam up! That's fine. Luckily, if you don't bother with anything on... the, uh, the surface, you really can get from one end to another very, very quickly. Now... I know it said gentle stars, but yeah, jump. It's 110 fuel. But this one around the uh, the te what is it? A temperate, radioactive. Can't remember, but whatever. I remember there being a Florin outpost here. Pretty close too. Let's see. Are you it? No. Jungle. Um, is it you? Yes. There we go. And we're off. What is that? Glitch Techno Wizard Tower. Huh. We'll check that out. We'll probably check that out next episode. Alright. Let's go scan this stuff. Never seen a glitch techno wizard tower. That seems neat. Okay, now, if I'm not mistaken, I remember getting to it from the, uh, by going left. Oh, now. Look at all these bugs. I mean, they're not bees or anything, but look at all these bugs. 
Hey, go away. Nope, stop it. Hey, go away. Ow, hey, go away. All right, now we just start scanning stuff. Anything that we need to scan will show up as green. They don't care if you take stuff from boxes. They do, however, really care if you steal, like, furniture. They're not the most forgiving when it comes to stuff like that. Like, they don't care if you take whatever they've got in their boxes. i take some of this stuff, because who cares? This guy, that. You can see up in the top, what's that, the top right, um, that I'm filling up a bar every time I... Every time I scan something that's important. Are you friend or foe? Friend. So really, we're we're kind of looking for anything that's green. Yeah, like this guy. Urn. The Florins are really great hunters. Um, you find all of that out from this. Like they're really, really great hunters. Ah. They are also really scary creatures. Like they're just like they're carnivorous plant people. It's weird and creepy. Okay, I've gotten everything there. I'm missing something. I think it's one more thing we need. Ah, probably that on the table. Or this, there it is, yep. There we go, this glutinous web is from, is of an unusual hue and texture. The species that produced it must be unique in its characteristics and probably limited in its environment. Wonderful. All right, and then we just uh, beam right back up. And that's that's basically it when it comes to um, the storyline quests. You do a quest where you find an outpost of one of the races, you scan all of the stuff, and then you um, go find that particular person and you do a quest. You do an instanced mission like the Icarus uh, uh, processing plant mission that we did way, way back. You fight a boss, and then you, you know, you do your thing. I'm curious about this glitch Techno Wizard Tower. It's the Hogwash School of Techno Wizardry. I don't know, like, can I... <laughs> can we get... Closer. Ah, here we go. Q. Now. Ah, deploy the mech. I'm not very good with the mech yet. I haven't had a lot of practice with the mech. That's on me, though. Like, I haven't, I just haven't taken the time to get good with it. Interesting. Ah, here we are. Now, 
we can leave the mech because we don't need to breathe. We're going to leave our mech mm, here, I think, really. We don't need it. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Just kidding. Just kidding. There. Okay. I don't know if they're going to attack me or not. They might. But what I do know... Man, all these scrap panels need this stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Uh, friend or foe? Okay. That was something. All right, what I do know is that this is a wonderful place to call the episode. And that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Huh. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy day to drop in and see what I'm up to. It really does mean a lot to me. You are all the best. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.